viewers, the video you're about to watch is basically about something that happened to me yesterday where either I was or wasn't uh, almost scammed by some local, so make it your own decision. But before you say to yourself, Steve, you absolute sucker, I just want to say that the crowd of locals, when I sat down, they were already there, so it wasn't like they approached me from out of the blue, yeah? They were already there, and it was me that got their attention. So there's a two sort of quite big reasons why it wasn't totally obvious maybe that I was being, uh, uh, what do they call it, groomed for a scam, as it were. That's probably the wrong word to use, but you get the idea. Anyway, watch the video, let me know what you think. Was I being scammed? Oh, by the way, this is Halong Bay, see? Two videos for the price of one. Well, viewers, today I'm in Hanoi, and uh, I've only got one day here, so I'm trying to experience the best that the place has got to offer. Lots of culture. So I've been to, I've been to the, oh, I'm just checking my uh, map. I've been to the, the History Museum. I've been to the, uh, the, the prison. I've been to the Temple of Literature. Now the plan, the plan was to actually then go to the Ho Chi Minh Museum, but unknown to me, it's shut. It's shut on a Monday. So I thought I'd come to this uh, uh, this place here just for some food and a couple of drinks, just for a quiet afternoon. And then what should happen? But some locals who, for reasons of security, I can't film, but they're over oh, they're over here. Yeah. And they're making me drink lots of beer. <laughs> so, uh, cheers, guys. Cheers. Cheers. <sighs> Is it time to sleep yet? <laughs> <laughs> it was going to be such a quiet day of just culture and museums and look what you've done, look what you've done. It's all good. This is my fan. I like him and I, I like the English. <laughs> so you can appear on camera, you can appear on camera, but nobody else, nobody else. Cheers. Now, I feel quite bad about this because I don't know if I've just met the nicest people on the planet or the biggest con artists. Right, those last people you saw there, if uh, iMovie's working, but either way, basically what's happened so far is I went to a, a bar to get a drink because uh, the museum, the Ho Chi Minh Museum was shut down. Um, and I had my meal, and there was um, a group of five Vietnamese on the next table. Now, they invited me over. Or I caught their eye, or they caught my eye, I don't know what happened, but anyway, they got me a beer. And then they got me a few more beers, and before we knew it, we were having drink competitions. And they were really, really friendly. And even at the end, they insisted on paying for my food. All right, but, but the guy did say, in my defense for being naive, he did say, you know, this is Vietnam. It's not, uh, it's not like Western. It's not the Western tradition. And I still thought, fine, fine. I was with him for a good couple of hours. And also, to be fair, like I said, I've done lots of culture today. I went to several museums uh, before I ended up there, only because it's a Monday and Ho Chi Minh Museum is closed. Anyway, the point of the story, at the very end of it, the guy said, hey, 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 I'll show you my business, I'll show you my business. And I said, yeah, yeah, all right, yeah, sure. Then I realized actually he was driving, that was a bad sign, because he'd had almost as much as me to drink, or had he? His friend had, his friend kept saying, down in one, down in one, down in one. And I'm an idiot, so I, I went along with it. So anyway, so we just, I just went back to a place back there and he's, so I thought he was going to show me a business, a, biz, a big busy office with lots of people and it was an empty office, there was a, a receptionist, the car went, the shutters came up, the car went in into a garage, came down, went up some steps, um, so th there was no one there and I was thinking this is a little bit weird and then he said maybe, maybe we can do business together and I'm thinking yeah maybe, maybe, even though actually no, no we can't do business together, he said what's your contact details and then what was really weird as well I think this, if it was a scam, and I feel so bad if it wasn't a scam and they were just really friendly, because they were really friendly, is he got out this 12 year old bottle of whiskey and said, do you want some? Now, I've had plenty of beer with his, the guy back down at the bar and, um, and I just said no. And if there was a scam, I think it was gonna be, if I'd said yes to opening that bottle of whiskey and it was a 12 year bottle, it was gonna cost a small fortune. But the other thing was, Finally, viewers, is I'm sat in this office back there, uh, and the la all I can remember was was Lonely Planet saying, "Be wary of over-friendly locals." And maybe I'm being over-cynical, but I don't think I am. I think there was a scam there. Either I was going to buy 
a hundred dollar bottle of whiskey or something stupid like that or they were going to get me to try and invest in something but I do feel pretty stupid but <laughs> guess who's having the last laugh I had a load of free beers and I had a free meal so it's not all bad <laughs>